The next thing we're going to do is a monster set of sheds. When we start to do sheds, what we'll notice is every shed base is totally different. Their sheds actually have just almost flush to begin with, or actually even below the burr. These antlers, you won't need to do hardly anything to them. They're going to be ready to mount up just the way they are. Other sheds, like this very heavy one, has quite a large portion that needs to be removed or flattened out. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and remove this portion, and uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and mount them up. Even though I use a sawzall, any cutting tool will work pretty much. Any saw, any bone saw, meat saw, uh, hacksaw, anything will work to, to take that. Instead of trying to file all this material off, it's going to be easier just go ahead and cut a portion of it off first. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now we have that area removed. Let's go ahead and clean it up on the sander again. Like I said, you don't really have to. I just like to do it because I have it at my discretion or I have it in my shop, so it takes a couple seconds just to clean this up. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, we got the left side of the large set of sheds. I should call them monster sheds. They're absolutely ridiculous in size. But we're going to go ahead and uh, go ahead and put our skull plate up to it. Line it up to where we like it. Like I said, you can use the pencil. Um, it's not necessary, but if you want to make sure it doesn't move, because after you're done, you, you can do a little bit of adjusting anyway when you're done with it. You can rotate the skull to where it looks real natural. So get it close. Go ahead and mark it, hold it, and go ahead and drill it. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and put the screw in. Okay, let's go ahead and drill this one out. Get into an angle that looks just about right and the pedestal lines up with the, the burr section. Makes it all look good. And we'll go ahead and run the drill up. Okay, now I'm installing the screw. Go ahead and adjust the antlers. I gotta snug them down just so I can still spin them around to where I like them, to where it looks real natural. By mounting these extra large sheds up, as well as the smaller diameter uh, drop tying sets, it's just showing how universal this mounting kit is. Uh, with the two interchangeable top sections your kit comes with, you can handle any antler diameter. Uh, white tail, mule deer, it really doesn't make much difference. Top quality reproductions. Go ahead and hang it up.